afternoon and good evening. This is Pamela and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV where we review movies, television shows, and incidents in pop culture just to see how those incidents affect our daily lives. Okay, we are back with And Just Like That. This is episode nine entitled No Strings Attached. We're going to get right into it. Uh, uh, the last episode, uh, Charlotte was running after Che. Excuse me. Miranda was running after Che. Charlotte was having to realize that she needed to have conversations with her children. They're not itty bitty little children. They have capabilities of understanding uh, what, at, at least understanding what the topic is. So she doesn't have to try to lie to them or treat them like they're two to try to explain anything. And she's realizing that she has teenagers and she has to treat them as such. Uh, Carrie had a bonding moment with her neighbor. It's not like I can really remember about Carrie. Carrie wasn't as uh, prominent in my mind uh, from last uh, episode. Uh, <laughs> other than looking like Dexter's mom from Dexter's Laboratory smoking with her scarf and those uh, Playtex gloves. So let's get into this watch along. We're going, we're going, uh, lady by lady. Uh, the episode opens with the girls having lunch, uh, talking about how they're going into menopause. Yippee! <laughs> well, actually how Charlotte is talking about how she has, uh, uh, that she believes that she's, uh, inducted into going into menopause because, uh, Carrie and Miranda have been, have been in menopause for a minute. Uh, Miranda, uh, invites the girls. Well, basically she tells the girls that they're going to go with her to the shelter to help paint. They're going to help her help paint at the shelter, the women's shelter in Brooklyn. Um, they, uh, Charlotte was happy and she was going to, she's ready to do it. But Carrie, not so much. So she had to be bribed to do it. Then we get to the scene where, uh, Miranda and Che are out on a date uh, they're eating, and these these young girls come up to Che and say, "Oh, uh, we're your biggest fans, you know." And they, you know, they want to take a picture, and they ask uh, sh uh, uh, Miranda, "Who is she? Is she famous?" She's like, "Oh no, I'm just the girlfriend." Miranda, Che hasn't said that you were her girlfriend. But we're going to let Miranda live. Uh, Che gives her a look, but she doesn't say anything. Uh, we get to uh, Charlotte with her girls. And Lily is freaking out because uh, her menstrual app is saying that... Uh, <laughs> her menstrual app is saying that uh, her period is starting like at the beginning of the month. And then it will happen again like on the 28th of the month. Which is, which is normal. Uh, but she's freaking out because that's when the pool party is supposed to be. And she doesn't want to have her period during the pool party. And she said that she'd rather die than wear a tampon. I wonder why um, Charlotte hadn't introduced her to a menstrual cup. Because that would be much more better than a tampon and much more reliable. But I digress. So she's, uh, Lily is freaking out. Rock is studying, or it looks like she's doing some stuff for her bar, bar mitzvah, uh, and she doesn't really want to do it. But you know, you know, Charlotte's going. She's Charlotte's going to get her way and, and 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 make her do it. So now we have Carrie and Seema. They're standing in the line to get into a club. Seema wants to dance, and then she lets it slip out that um, today is her birthday, and so they're trying to bribe the. Uh, the doorman to get in but previously before that uh the day before uh lizette uh carrie's neighbor came upstairs and gave her a piece of jewelry that she had designed uh and wanted her to put it on her instagram so that people could see her jewelry and uh, uh say something about it <laughs> Charlotte's dinner gets off to a, 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 a crazy start. 
Lily has decided that she wants to learn how to do a, use a tampon, so she's going to help her do that. The guests come. Uh, uh, I can't think of what his name is. He brings a date, and uh, he's in the house, and he's like, oh, is this a Jewish dinner? And they were like, yeah. He's like, you know the Holocaust was a host. And the guy screams, get out! Why would you go into somebody's house and say some mess like that? Child, these people don't care. So Carrie's on her date. So Carrie met up with her date to cancel her date. Miranda's whooped. Che got Miranda whooped. Child. Miranda sprung, honey. Che got Miranda sprung. She just showed up at that woman's house uh, unannounced. So, they have a conversation and that they are in a relationship, but they're not going to go under these confines of boyfriend and girlfriend, child. Or girlfriend and girlfriend. So, we're going to see how Che works that out. And Miranda works that out. She took a, she brought her cookies. And Che said that she's in the middle of writing for her show. So, Baby! We get to the we get to Brooklyn to the painting, and uh, Miranda's husband and her son show up, and he says he wants to be paired with Carrie, and I you know I just thought oh you know they were gonna shoot the breeze but baby Steve is wanting to know where all this came from when did did when did Miranda uh, want to know uh, when did Miranda wanted to date women when Miranda did all of this stuff baby and Carrie is as I would be awkward i don't know what to say but he is asking the questions that he really needs to be asking miranda steve uh, uh steve is asking the questions and carrie uh you know he wants to know when did it all start because he i guess no one is really explaining to him when all of this started he just it just seemed uh all of a sudden and so carrie like a bless her heart she's doing her best to try to do it and she's trying to answer and avoid the question at the same time you know how we do like oh well i'm sure it's such and such and such you know you're trying to answer and avoid a question at the same time this shirt looks blue on camera but when i look down it looks black so i'm not sure what i'm looking at but anyway so she's so flustered that she steps backward and she ends up stepping backwards into the paint and so now she has to paint i don't know why she's wearing these high heel shoes i don't know what the, you know that they're 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 uh name brand luxury shoes to paint i don't know why she would do that but that's just carrie child so she's in there cleaning the shoes off uh <laughs> and steve is really pounding her about these questions and then oh lord then a ring them fell down the drain Child, her Big's ring fell down the dag on P, uh, uh, the drain, and it might be in the P trap. Let's hope it is. Let's hope it didn't go floosh, floosh, floosh. But anyway, cha, cha. So, uh, uh, Miranda's professor, Miranda's professor's husband, sees uh, uh, LTW husband uh, working with the children, and he wants that. And uh, he he is adamant that he wants a baby. I don't know why they don't just talk about adoption. If they can't have babies naturally or a surrogacy. So, Miranda's professor's husband, Andre, has told the professor, look, he still wants a baby. She's like, why are you making us not enough? And he's like, I want one. I don't know why they haven't pursued the fact that if she's tired of the IVF, if it's, if it's causing her issues then why don't they either get a surrogate or adopt a child? Because you're doing all this 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 work. Uh, I don't know why uh, that is not an issue if it's a thing, but I think it's more she doesn't want a child at all. And he wants a child. So, uh, ooh, that's, that's, that's a tough, that's a tough, that's a tough thing. Uh, we got Carrie and Steve again talking. He's talking. He's professing his love for Miranda, and Miranda is all he wants to be with, and he's not changing on that. 
Uh, Charlotte is working, you know, I don't know why this uh, menstrual cycle story is here for Charlotte. Uh, I just would expect a little bit more depth from, Char you know, I don't, but I do. A little bit more depth from Charlotte. Uh, Lily is having this problem with her, with her, with her, with her tampon. She can't find the string, you know, when the string gets lost. Uh, she finds the string and, you know, Charlotte is, is frustrated with her about this. So Charlotte, uh, Lily's in a porta potty of all places looking for a string, uh, for her tampon. But anyway, Charlotte walks away from the porta potty and it is shown that Charlotte has started her menstrual cycle because she's in this all white painter, uh, the outfit and she's having, a uh, a flash period that's what they call uh when you are on the throes of being menop menopausal you'll go many months without having a period and then all of a sudden your period will come on and you don't even, you if you don't even really feel it it's just like skoosh and then it's over with but anyway so for steve miranda is his person carrie would be that person to still have a blackberry <laughs> She's like time stuck. She would be that person that still be rocking a Blackberry. So it ends with Zima and Carrie going to the club. She's looking at her ring. You know, it'd be nice if she takes those two rings and kind of gets a, a piece made out of it. She might can ask the jeweler downstairs like she could put like, because Big's ring is a bigger circle over her, her ring, which is a smaller circle. And they can put like their birthstones in between the circles to tie them together. It'd be cute. But anyway, her and Zima get into the club. Uh, I, I I failed to mention that Zima wasn't going to paint. She's just going to sit outside and write a check. She was sitting outside and there, there's a club owner next door to the shelter that uh, talked about his club. And he invited Zima to come to the club. And so Zima came to the club and they, they didn't have to bribe the doorman because he was the doorman. Overall, it, it felt like a filler episode. It wasn't all, all of that. I, I, it, it was a filler episode. It was a episode. It was a decent episode. But tell me what you think down below. Uh, tell me, are you watching the show? Is there a show you'd like for me to review? Let me know down in the comments and I will look into it. My cable connect has come through. So I will be reviewing Kings of Napa, but I have to watch episodes one through three. So give me an opportunity to do that. So hopefully between now and next Sunday, I will have watched them and placed them on there. So look forward to that. All right. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do uh, new videos. Hey, if you've come here and I looked at the analytics, you all are watching the videos, please subscribe. All right. And as always, buh-bye.